bless you, everyone. This is CCC Gospel of Life Parish, London. You are all blessed in the name of Jesus. Healing service, Tuesday, prophetic prayer. You are all welcome to this special program. What you need to do now, begin to appreciate God, begin to praise Him, begin to share this program, begin to host a watch party. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. I welcome you on board. God bless you. Get a bottle of water. Begin to send your prayer requests, your testimony. Begin to send it to 077 30 You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Healing service every Tuesday at 7 p.m. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I welcome you all. Thank you, Jesus.
God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. You're welcome on board. Welcome on board. God bless you, God bless you, hallelujah. You are all blessed in the name of Jesus. I welcome everybody to this uh, prophetic Tuesday prayer. You are all blessed in the name of Jesus. Any country you may be right now, I just want you to connect and begin to say, Father, I thank you. Father, I bless your name. Uh, before we begin to pray, get a bottle of water. I personally, I celebrate uh, 73rd uh, anniversary of uh, CCC uh, worldwide, Celestial Church of Christ worldwide. Celestial Church of Christ worldwide. Today is the founder, uh, Founders Day. I celebrate I celebrate with all celestial. I celebrate with all the shepherd from the pastor and every man and woman of God uh, for this uh, occasion, for this, uh, for this uh, anniversary. I celebrate everybody 
God bless everyone. Celestial Church of Christ worldwide will continue to grow in strength, in power, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Anywhere you may be right now, I just want you to say, Father, I thank you. Father, I bless your name because you are Jehovah God. Begin to wave your hands anywhere you may be. Begin to say, I thank you. I bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. What you need, you just need one word. One word from God to change your life. One word is enough. One word can change your destiny from negative, from negative to positive. One word can remove that sickness in your body. A word can remove tribulation in your life. A word can remove that bitterness in your life. You just need a word. One word is enough. The authority of God is coming out right now. I don't know the power, the spirits that deposited that illness in your life. I use one word by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every illness, that has been deposited in your system. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. What you need, you just need faith. You need faith. I'm, I'm taking you to a, 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 a story in the Bible. A story of a man that was healed. That was healed for a very long time. The man have opportunity. There is opportunity ahead of him. He can see the opportunity. He saw it clearly that if I can move, if I can move forward, if I can move towards the water, I am going to receive my healing. But people, they ran away from him. There is no help. But when the time comes, Jesus, Jesus used a word and say, get up, begin to, to walk. And that man began to walk and every sickness in his body disappear. I pray for someone right now. As you connect your faith, I pray for you any country you may be. Right now, every illness in your body come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sickness, every illness that want to kill you, that want to take away your life, every power that want to claim your life, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, open your Bible to John chapter 5. John chapter 5, but I'm reading from verse 3. Verse 3 says, Verse 3 say, here a great number of disabled. People used to lie, the blind, the lame, the, para, the, 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 the parasite. One who, one who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned, that he had been in this condition for a very long time. He asked him, do you want to get well? And that man answered, sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool. When the water is stirred, 
where I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Listen to verse 8. Then Jesus said to him, get up, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once, the man was killed. Someone, you are, you are watching me right now. You are under this prophetic prayer. Every illness in your body, every sickness in your body, I use one word that is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to pray for you right now. Every illness that has been added to your life, come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to that. Listen to the Bible. The Bible said, the Bible described that man as invalid. It means when you are sick, when we are talking about a sickness, many are sick spiritually, many are sick uh, financially, many are sick physically. But sickness is sickness. I don't know the sickness, the type of sickness that has been added to your life. I use one word to pray for you. That is in Jesus' name. Right now, every sickness in your womb, every sickness in your vein, every sickness in your bone, come out right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you sick physically? Are you sick spiritually? Are you sick financially? Jesus can heal you. Listen to the story of that of, of the man. Bible described. There are many. Bible says there are great number of disabled. Great number of people searching for miracle. Listen to me. As you are, as you are searching for miracle, as you, are, as you are praying, many people also, they are praying. There are some people they have, they got the same problem like you. But if you have faith, you are coming out right now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it does not matter what people are saying. It does not matter what medical, medical doctors have said. It doesn't matter the type or the name. Even if many people got that type of sickness, and many people have died through that sickness, I pray for you. I use one word. You are not going to die. Amen. Right now, as you are saying amen, what you need is amen. As you are saying amen, I pray for you right now. You are coming out from that sickness. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of that sickness. Amen. That man that is looking at me, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out. Amen. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sickness that has been deposited in your life, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you here today, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you, Shagun, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you, Florence, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you right now, Biola, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. At your media, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sickness that has been deposited in your life, every sickness that wants to claim your life, I pray for you right now, you are coming out. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. Can you shout? I say, I am coming out. You have to come out. What you need is faith. That man has faith that, oh, even if I can touch, if I can move forward, but Bible says, no one, no one, that man said, no one to help me. That, that invalid, invalid man replied, said, no one is there to help me. No one, when you are sick, many people will run away from you. When you are not okay, many people will run away from you. But Jesus is there for you. Listen to me. Jesus is there for you. Jesus is there for you. I pray for you right now, anywhere you may be. Any country may be, anywhere you may be, any country may be, you are coming now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are coming now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
you are coming now in the name of Jesus. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. Every sickness that has been deposited in your life, every sickness, every sickness from your mother's womb that has been added to your life, come out in the name of Jesus. I say, come out in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, every sickness in my body, what are you waiting for? Come out. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Every sickness. There are some sickness. Listen to Bible says, 38 good years. That man had been an invalid. If they call someone invalid, it means that person cannot function. That man had a mark of invalid. I don't know the type of mark that enemy has put upon your life. The mark of invalid. If they call you invalid, it means you cannot function. Anything invalid, you cannot function. It means there is no reception. It means you cannot even walk. You cannot even talk. You cannot even respond. Because it's a mark of invalid. I pray for someone. Every mark of invalid in your business. Every mark of invalid in your ministry. Every mark of invalid upon your children, upon your wife, upon your husband. I destroy it by the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. I destroy it by the power in the blood of Jesus. Invalid, you need one word. There are some people, their life is on, is they, they carry the mark of invalid. They carry, when you carry the mark of invalid, you are invalid. It means there is no progress. It means you cannot expand. It means you cannot function. Oh, Spiritually, you cannot function. Physically, you cannot function. Financially, you cannot function. It means it means your life is underward, under invalid. It means your life, the mark of invalid, is upon your destiny and glory. I pray for you right now. You are coming out from that position. Amen. The position the enemy has kept you for a very long time. The position of invalid. The position of invalid. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open your mouth and say, Father, Father. every mark of invalid upon my life, what are you waiting for? Come out. 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 Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Healing is about to happen in many lives tonight. A life, a destiny that carries the mark of invalid is not complete. A glory that carries a mark of invalid is not complete. A business, the name of a business that carries invalid is not complete. That life cannot function. That business cannot function. It means if, 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 if a life or destiny carry the mark of invalid, it means that life is already disabled. Listen to me. Every mark of disabled, every mark of invalid, every mark of decrease, every mark of sickness, Every mark of pain in your life. I pray for you right now. As you are saying amen. Right now. I pray for you right now. I destroy that mark in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you say I destroy. I every mark every of invalid. Of I destroy. I every mark every of invalid. I destroy. Every mark of invalid. I destroy. Every mark of invalid. I destroy. Every mark of invalid, I destroy every mark of invalid. I destroy every power of invalid. I destroy every mark of sudden death. I destroy 
every mile of sickness. I destroy every mile of setback in Jesus' mighty name. I want everyone to get bottled water now. I'm going to have 10 minutes short break. 10 minutes short break. I want you to get a bottle of water. And I want you to read Psalm 20. I want you to read Psalm 20 right now. And I want you to begin to meditate. We're going to go to short break right now for the next 10 minutes. I want you to connect your faith. So by the time I come back, I want to begin to pray for people. And I want you to begin to send your prayer requests. I'm going to mention your name. I'm going to pray for you. Begin to send your prayer requests. I'm, more, I'm going to decree and declare into your life. What you need, you just need to connect. When you connect, you will begin to see the power of God. You will begin to see the manifestation of God. You will begin, because there is no limitation to prayer. There is no limitation to prayer. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. You are all blessed. Just stay tuned. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to come back to you, get a bottle of water, read Psalm 20, and begin to meditate. Don't go, share this program, invite people, host a watch party on this program. Today is healing. You need a one word. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when Amen. you fear Amen. God, Amen. In Jesus. let me quickly give you the benefit because of time. One of the benefits of the fear of the Lord, number one, it will add length to your life. Proverbs 10, verse 27. Confirm it. When you fear Lord, it will increase your life. It will prolong your days. When you fear, anyone? <laughs> the, fear the, the fear of the Lord is what? He prolonged day. The year of the wicked. When you fear God, when you fear God, you will accept Jesus as your personal Savior. The only way you can be saved is to accept Christ. You cannot be saved. Your pastor, your shepherd, your prophet cannot save you. Your husband, your wife, your children cannot save you. But someone can save you. That is Jesus Christ. If you believe that, shout on hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you say, I am, I am saved? I am saved. Can you say, I am saved? I am saved. Tell three people that I am saved. Tell three people that I am saved. Tell three people that I am saved. 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 If you are saved, shout on hallelujah. You can be all you can only be saved by that name. When you fear God, many people they are they call themselves a Christian, but they are not Christian. If you don't fear the Lord, you are not a genuine Christian. Because when you fear the Lord, you will, you will find it difficult to do evil. You will find it difficult to hate your neighbors. You will find it difficult to lie to people. You will find it difficult. When you fear God, you will afford evil. Proverbs 37, confirm it. Yes, Proverbs 37. Uh -huh. fear the Lord and the of you have to, when you fear the Lord, have you finished? 
and depart from evil. Someone is here right now. If you can say, Sandeman, every evil plans towards your life. Two, two people that can say, Sand Amen. 20 people that can say, Sand Amen. Every evil plan towards your life, I cancel it. Fear God. When you fear God, you will respect God. When you fear God, you will love people around you. When you fear God, the, your family, you will scatter your family. When you fear God, don't, some people, they are full of evil. Their family, they will scatter it. If they get to uh, uh, any company or any uh, any 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 place, any working place, they will they will spoil it. If they get to any church, they will destroy it. There is a mark in you, not you. I will break it today. There is a mark that is following you all over places. That anywhere you are, you have to scatter that place. It's a cost. It's a cost. If you don't know, you won't know that you are you are spoiling something. You won't know that you are scattering something. You won't know that you are spoiling something. You won't know that you are destroying something. They will be telling you, you are destroying something. You say, no, I'm doing what is right. You are not doing what is right. Oh, I know what I'm doing. 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 The way you get, the way you get to that place, when you will scatter your life. Let me quickly pray for you. Then I will continue. As you raise up, this is 12 o'clock. Raise up. Everybody rise up. Rise up. I decree blessing to your life. Amen. If you are lying, you can join us as well. They are watching us all over the world. And let your amen be louder. I break every spirit of death in your life. Amen. Number three. Every evil plans towards your life, I cancel it. All your prayers with your candle, whatever you have used your mouth to ask, before 24 hours, You will have testimonies. If your if the amen of the person beside you is louder than your own, you better check yourself. As you are singing amen, every monetary spirit catch fire. Every spirit 
of death. Every spirit of death in your life with your amen. Every arrow of death. Come on! 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 I want you to change your position today. If you uh, if there is a space forward, I want you to move forward. Change your position. You must change your position. Something is about to come out in the life of someone. Death will come out from you. And begin to pray. I don't want you to come in vain and go in vain. We pray for you every day. You must see a sign. Many people love the way you are. Do you love the way you are? If you don't love the way you are, raise up your hands. When we have some people to raise their hand, we put it in the pocket. No more failure. 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 Before Easter, people must see the hand of God. Hallelujah, praise God. If you remember, Jesus asked that man, do you want to get what? It's a question. Many people, they love the way they are. Many people love the way, the position they have. That is the reason why Jesus asks that man, do you want to get well? And that man said, Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me. I want to be well. I want healing, but nobody is there to help me. Nobody is there to support me, to take me to the pool. When the water still. Life is about choice. Many people love the way they are. The reason why Jesus asks that man, maybe that man because of a situation, many people because of that situation, they will turn their problem to source of income. Many love the way they have. I pray for you right now. I want you to get, I believe you are with your water. And I want to begin to pray on your water. Get your water ready. I want to begin to prophesy. Begin to send your prayer request. I'm going to attend to it. I want to begin to pray on your water now before I end. Because Jesus is about to do something in your life. It's about to touch your life. One word is enough. One word change the life of the man. One word will change your life tonight. One word will remove the sickness in your body. Anywhere you may be, get your water ready. I want to begin to pray for you right now. Jacoba, Jesus Christ, Holy Mike, everlasting God. Father, we thank you, we honor your name. I pray for people that are sick right now. People that need healing. People that need the hand of God. People that need the hand of God. 
with your water. Right now. I pray for you right now. That water will turn. To blood of Jesus. Amen. I say that water will turn to blood of Jesus. Amen. When you take that water. When you drink it with faith. Every sickness. In your body. Every sickness. Right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. God of protection will protect you. I pray for you right now. I remove. I destroy and I cancel. Every mark of sickness right now. Disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you. When you drink that water with faith. Every sickness. Are you barren? Are you sick? It in the dream, sexual intercourse. Disappear right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you take it with faith, sickness is not yours again. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus. Okay. God bless you. Begin to drink that water now. Something is about to happen in your body. Take that water with faith. Drink it with faith. Use that water to sprinkle your, your body. Drink it. Use it to sprinkle your body. You will see the hand of God. Before I close, you can begin to send your prayer request and I will begin to meditate on it for the next seven minutes. The music will be on. Then I will be praying for you just begin to send your prayer request. I dedicate this time seven minutes. Receive mercy in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Abiodojo. Receive breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Receive healing and happiness. At the death, receive spiritual and strength. William Shagun Omotayo. Grace and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Receive healing and favor in Jesus' name.
God bless you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Get yourself ready tomorrow at 7 p.m. for Mercy Day Prophetic Prayer. You are all blessed. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, send your prayer request, your testimony to 077 4230. God bless you. See you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Amen.